Hello everyone. In our previous two videos regarding the chemistry of nucleic acids and nucleotides, we have discussed about the composition of nucleotides and their commercial uh, uses of uh, uses and the structure of DNA we have studied. And in this video, we'll be discussing about the RNA structure and the types. Okay, and the briefing of nucleotide and nucleic acid chemistry. So coming to the RNA structure, as we have studied, three types of RNA are there. One is messenger RNA, in short, mRNA. And second one is ribosomal RNA, you can say rRNA. And third one is tRNA, that means transfer RNA. So here with the name itself, okay, with the name itself, we can make out messenger RNA. That means this RNA carries message from DNA to protein, okay, it acting as a messenger, okay. And ribosomal RNA, so the name itself like ribosomal RNA, so ribosomes, where do this protein synthesis takes place? They require a site. So that protein synthesis takes place in the ribosomes, okay. So, this ribosomal RNA providing the place for protein synthesis uh, and third one transfer RNA that means tRNA okay. This tRNA carries okay particular amino acid for protein synthesis based on the message carrying from mRNA okay. These are the purposes of the different types of RNAs. We will study one by one. So all mRNA, uh, sorry, all RNA molecules which are formed in the nucleus and that are from DNA. So that means DNA is a source for the RNA molecules. Without DNA, there is no RNA. So RNAs are single standard polynucleotides. Okay, RNAs are single standard polynucleotides, and there are. The types, uh, I mean, like compared with these three types of uh, RNAs, there are other RNAs like uh, small nuclear RNA, okay, and uh, other uh, like ribozymes, okay, but significant one three mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA. See in this picture, I am just showing the overview of the protein synthesis. Here, this uh, this part is uh, ribosomal RNA providing the site for protein synthesis and uh, this is the messenger rna okay and these are trna okay three types site for protein synthesis by rrna and message from the dna to code particular protein that is by mrna and as per the code which amino acid to be added in the protein by trna that means it is transferring amino acid to protein. So, we will study mRNA. So, as we have studied mRNA is also a single standard one okay and out of total RNAs it counts 5 percent okay out of total cellular RNA mRNA counts for 5 percent okay it is variable in length okay and it carries genetic codon that means the codons that has been given from DNA. Okay, and this codons acting as a uh, message, okay, to pro to synthesize proteins in the cytoplasm. That means at ribosome level. That is the sequence of bases determine the sequence of amino acids. Okay, the bases which are present in the genetic code. Okay, okay, the genetic code consists bases. Three genetic code carries three bases. A U G R U G A. Okay. So this language, as per this language, which type of protein, which type of amino acid has to be added in the protein will be decided. Okay, each three successive bases in mRNA called genetic codon. Okay, and this genetic codon codes for particular amino acids. Okay, AUG starting codon, which codes for amino acid methionine. Like this, all the 20 amino acids in the, our body has specific codons. Okay, the first codon at 5 prime end called initiation codon and the last codon at 3 prime end called termination codon. Okay, the first codon which is present in the 5 prime end is known as initiation or starting codon and the last codon which is at the end of the chain, okay, end of the chain of the RNA 
that is uh, the three prime end called termination codon. So this is a DNA, DNA is double stranded, but mRNA is a single stranded. Okay. 